in this video i'm going to create our first low back project make sure you have installed node.js on your machine if you're using mac you need to add the sudo keyword and you have to install the low back cli npm install i minus t i have to install low back globally on our machine and here is the low back cli package I have already installed Lowback CLI on my machine. Now it's time to create the Lowback project. You gotta use the LB4 and you need to write the name of your application. I'm gonna write LB4, the name of our application. Now it's time to create our first lowback project. You gotta execute this command lb4 and you need to write the app. It is going to ask me the project name. I'm gonna use lb production. You can use any name. You can define some description. You can define root directory. I'm gonna use lb product. Let's provide the name of our class starter application. By default, Lubeck will provide me ESLint integration, Prettier, Mocha, Lubeck build, Docker support, or repositories. I'm going to press enter. Now it is going to install some dependencies. All these dependencies have installed. I'm going to navigate to my project. Let me start the project by using the npm start. Now you can see that our application is running. You can see the open API specification, open API.json. You can also view the API Explorer. I'm gonna try it out and you will see the ping. You can see the response here by executing this endpoint. It has already created this endpoint, localhost call in 3000 slash ping. Okay, now it's time to open the project into VS Code. You can view the source code, you can see the docker, docker setup, docker ignore, eslint, mocha, npm rc, docker file. I'm not going to tell you the details about docker, we'll talk more about the docker in the later videos. This is our index.ts, this is the entry file. All the source code is available inside the source directory. Let's let me show you what is inside the source directory. You can see the test test folder, acceptance test. I'm not going to talk about the test cases yet. Here you will see the controllers. You can see the ping controller. Let's review the source code from the ping controller. Ping response, the because it is built on the top of a TypeScript, you will see the TypeScript. This is the open API response. You basically specify the response type. This is our description. You can see that. Let me show you. You can see the description ping by response. Ping response. They have defined these properties greeting, date, URL, and the headers. You can view that greetings, date, URL, and the headers. I'll teach you how to write this schema. And here is our ping controller class. They are using the decorator, TypeScript decorator, injecting the rest binding. 
I'll talk more about what is this inject, what is the rest pointings, and what is the request. They have created this get endpoint. This is how you will create the get endpoint in lowback. And it is going to return this message hello from lowback. You can update the message. This is going to return the current date. So this is our response. We have defined the exact response here. Basically, we defined the properties for the schema. Now you can return these properties date, URL, and the headers. I'm going to execute that. Now you can see that. You can see the exam. You can see the result. It is going to give me a fail to fetch. I think I did not start the application. npm start. Now my application is running. Now you can see the response body. Host, connection, accept, user agent, and these you can see the greeting property. I have updated the text. You can see the date and the URL. So this is our controller. You can view the data sources. I'll teach you what are data sources, models, and repository. This is our starter application. It is going to set up the sequence, static file, or explorer, API explorer path, controllers directory. I'll teach you more about the sequence, migrate, all this stuff. You don't need to worry about this stuff. Don't get overwhelmed. I'm going to teach you everything. So it's time to let's try to create our first controller. You can write the name of the controller. Hello, I need the empty controller. So I'm going to press enter. Hello was created. You can view the controllers here. You can create some endpoint by using the get endpoint. Make sure you have imported the get method from this one. This is a, this is the annotation from the low backrest package. You have to define the path. I'm going to use hello. It is an annotation function. So we have to define the return type, which is string. So I'm going to return the message. Hello from low back four. Now you, now you will see the hello endpoint will be created. I'm going to start the application. My application is running, but I did not specify the API documentation. Here you will see the, I did not specify the response object, but I'll teach you how to do that. Let's try to test our endpoint. Localhost colon 3000. I'm going to navigate to the hello hole. You will see the message hello from loopback 4. 